how to prevent cancer so what science informs us on uh, you know to minimize the likelihood of developing cancer in our life right so let's straightforward jump to uh, what the, the the science informs us without any pretext without informing what's the the cancer is how deadly the disease is and so on okay so i have adopted uh, a stoic perspective for this very brief video the stoicism as you know it's a branch of philosophy that deals with uh, you know how to live the life to the fullest how to be happy and how to be tranquil lead a life of uh, tranquility you know so the tenet of the stoicism lies in the fact that certain things are under our control while certain things are beyond our control the so called dichotomy of control so there is no point in vexing about the things which are not under your control right that is why i have divided this brief video into mainly two things so what uh, are the you know what are the factors that uh, that contribute to the development of cancer which are perfectly under our control and things which are beyond our control there is no point in vexing about it rather instead of its dichotomy in strict sense this video adopts a trichotomy some things are partially in our control right so first things first what are the things which are under our control and really obvious ones first okay so first one is smoking so it's beyond doubt that smoking is linked with lung cancer which is uh, we knew it from 1950s onwards so it's a very famous study called winter and graham study it's a case control study of 1950 that first established the link between lung cancer and smoking so if you smoke quit smoking the, the best option for you to prevent the likelihood of developing cancer later in your life second alcohol and several kinds of cancer especially liver cancer and pancreatic cancer so liver and pancreatic cancer friends have the lowest likelihood of survival you know so it's a really dangerous cancer the pancreatic cancer uh, you know the apple founder right uh, he he died uh, of the pancreatic i mean the lot of vips died of pancreatic cancer right uh, steve jobs and many other people as well so liver cancer as well so survival time is very very less and uh, of course uh, the prostate cancer too is linked with alcohol so if you do consume alcohol there is no safe limit you know so earlier we used to say like one unit per day for men is kind of safe but no the the new research says that even tiny bit of alcohol in your life is going to increase the risk of cancer and several other diseases right then physical inactivity sedentary lifestyle and also having a very high uh, you know the the uh, body mass index the bmi right so obesity everything is connected with around 30 to 35 percentage of the cancer mortality you know so physical inactivity and sedentary lifestyle so what you have to do keep on doing activity and you know reduce your intake right to have a healthy bmi body mass index up to 25 is considered to be healthy right then air pollution air pollution friends it has been featured often in our in this youtube channel air pollution is linked with various kinds of uh, you know the cancer including lung cancer liver cancer breast and pancreatic cancer so how do you minimize the exposure to the air pollution so my i you know the, my uh, uh, suggestion to you is that have an app called aq iq air so that tells you about the how aqi in your city right now so it depends on the aqi of that is air quality index you can uh, make decisions like should i go for outdoor exercise or stay indoors and you can also consider purchasing uh, you know air filters right so air pollution of course is a shared responsibility it's not just the individual responsibility but it's also the policy makers responsibility to ensure that the air that we inhale is pollution free right and then comes food is linked with what you eat is really linked with uh, the risk of your developing cancer so how can you minimize it so minimize the food are no or that are known to contaminate with aflatoxin aflatoxin is a toxic substance produced by 
aspergillus flavus which is a fungi you know so uh, those uh, you know like the, the grain for example like rice right has been, which have been contaminated with this uh, uh, aspergillus flavus which has this aflatoxin significantly increase your chance of getting liver cancer so uh, yeah the food like peanut butter grains be careful and uh, read the instruction carefully and trust only the trusted brands okay so uh, you know so aflatoxin friends you cannot simply destroy even after boiling uh, because there are endospores and that can survive even boiling you know just boiling the rice will not work so how do you store rice properly all these matters so basically you have to be in a dry place so if it has been exposed to moisture better get a fresh batch of the grain to minimize chance of aflatoxin b1 which is a carcinogenic substance it's a very potent carcinogen okay then red meat and smoked food especially smoked meat processed meat like uh, bacon right so yeah before ordering uh, 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 you know the uh, the bacon lettuce tomato sandwich in some way think twice is it is it a healthy decision or not right and artificial sweeteners are linked with several types of cancer so aspartame and other artificial sweeteners like diet coke beware you know it it is linked with several cancers okay and uh, yeah so another chemical which is uh, linked with cancer is called glyphosate so glyphosate is a weed killer it's a herbicide which is often used in our farmland so grains do contain glyphosate and uh, you know trust only the trusted brands because the uh, you know the the we do have policy on the higher higher uh, you know the the maximum tolerance limit of the safe limit of the glyphosate but those brands can simply escape it because of the policy making troubles right so yes yeah, so there is a un international group called international agency for research on cancer which can classify the glyphosate as uh, a type group 2a carcinogen uh, for the humans so be beware of it okay the glyphosate so we don't really don't have any mechanism to test for it so only option for us is to trust buy only trusted you know trusted brands and uh, instead of this loose uh, grains from the market you know and also oats do contain glyphosate you know if you if the oats is contaminated right so beware of it then uh, non-alphenol is a phenol phenol substance which is linked with breast cancer and recent study here in india uh, is uh, really an eye opener uh, you know the borewell samples from various locations in india uh, it's a study done by uh, you know that uh, uh, a group in it's a policy making group in delhi and uh, they 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 found that the limits were beyond what is prescribed in bis that is basically the indian standard you no know, board of indian standard uh, which prescribe one ppb that is parts per billion but what they found is 21 to 81 times 29 to 81 times that of uh, the one ppb so it is up to 81 ppb and guess what it is coming right here in batinda you know that the, the highest one came from a borewell from Batinda in Punjab you know and also the, the samples in uh, Delhi are also not that safe please check out that policy paper right I linked up in the show notes of it so nonal phenol is linked with breast cancer so beware of it right so how do you get rid of it you may try using RO reverse osmosis to get rid of uh, you know these substances but of course uh, you know if it is organic it's only you know ro is not that effective so only option is that you go beyond uh, you know you dig deeper so that only phenol can be uh, removed i mean there is no real way to remove it but you know you need to convince the policy maker to ban it and a strict enforcement of the laws that is the only option for us right then coming to aerosol there are several aerosol which are directly linked with 
several carcinoma, right? For example, benzene. Uh, benzene is very common in the aerosols, like for example, the DO that we use, right? Uh, the, the spray, DO, uh, you know, uh, deodorant spray, or room freshener, or the hairspray. All these sprays are aerosol, and more, almost entire uh, battery of aerosols do contain benzene. And benzene causes leukemia. So look for safer alternative. Instead of spray, you can buy a roll on which doesn't contain any benzene, you know. So the Dior, if you use the Dior, so don't buy any, uh, you know, spray type Dior, okay. And room freshener too. So instead of this spray type room freshener, look for safer alternative. And waterproofing, it's a, uh, you know, it's a kind of a new study that have uh, revealed that uh, almost entire waterproofing substances do contain uh, you know, PFOA, PFOA is perfluorooctanoic acid. We have featured the PFOA in this channel when we spoke about Teflon, the non-stick coating, right? Please check out, it's there in the show notes. So, is Teflon safe? So, by the way, Teflon, not all Teflon do contain PFOA, but majority of the Teflon brands, even the top brands sold here in India, you know, there is a very interesting news report and uh, check it out that that have been linked with my earlier video on the non-stick okay so those teflon which doesn't contain this perfluorooctanoic acid are safe but if that teflon do contain pfoa stay away because pfoa is linked with several types of cancer and pfoa by the way is uh, it's a type of a forever chemical what is this forever chemical that chemical stays in the environment for a long long time and it keeps on damaging and degrading the environmental system ecology right and it gets magnified as you know it's called biomagnification right uh, you know like uh, top predators get a lot of the concentration of this so forever chemicals are usually per and polyfluoroalkyl substances that is something called pfas so PFAS have usually two subtypes. One is called PFOA, which I just said, polyfluorooctanoic acid, and then also polyfluorooctane sulfonic acid, that is PFOS. So both are dangerous, PFOA and PFOA. So stay away from substances that contains PFOA and PFOS, especially waterproofing substances. So like, for example, if you want to buy a, 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 a nice... Uh, you know, sofa for your living room or lounge. If you're surveying the market, some expensive sofa will say that it's waterproof. You know, you can just pour your tea or coffee in it. Nothing is going to happen. Stay away. Because chances are high that it has been sprayed with waterproofing agent like PFOA and it can cause cancer. So stay away anything which promises you waterproofing. Water is still okay, but cancer, friends, you know, you, you, it can, it's, it's going to be, be, you know, it's going to be, it's going to significantly reduce your life expectancy, right? And talc, talc means talcum powder. So most of this talcum powder has got asbestos and asbestos is linked with various diseases like cystic fibrosis as well as cancer. Various kinds of cancer is caused by asbestos. And talc contains asbestos, so those talc which are asbestos free is okay, but majority of talcum powder available in the market do contain asbestos, right? So read carefully, does it contain or it's not containing? And even if it say it doesn't have it, how can you trust these brands, right? So think twice before applying talc, right? And then radiation, radiation, can cause several types of cancer, especially the skin cancer. You know that non-ionizing radiation like the UV beta right in the sunlight can cause skin cancer, you know, several types of skin cancer. So you can use, say, you know, you can simply cover your skin while going out. That is what I do. You know, just cover it, right? So if it's really sunny outside, don't wear simple t-shirt, but just wear the, the, the long shirt and, uh, uh, you know, a, a nice hat. Uh, you know, a long brim hat is much better than a, a baseball cap when you're going outside during the sun. 
right and also of course you may consider using the uh, you know the uh, spf the the sunscreen lotions but again all these sunscreen lotions do contain chemicals and who knows what it causes right so it's much better to use simply an, an umbrella and a hat and cover your skin that is so much better than going for these lotions which directly touch your skin and uh, how about ionizing radiation yes here comes an interesting fact radon so radon is a gas and you will never know are you exposed to radon or not unless you actually measure it so there are some agencies that can measure the radon levels in your house so you can give the sample and make sure that you don't have this radon issue in your house you know and if you are exposed to radon which is an ionizing radiation risk of cancer is far far higher and also ionizing radiation is also used in certain types of medical imaging so beware of it you know so for example like x-ray so it's not like one x-ray can uh, increase substantially your risk but if you are getting multiple x-rays like in ct you know so avoid this kind of uh, medical imaging unless it is really necessary prescribed by your physician right don't self uh, you know um, uh, self image you cannot simply go to the mri center and ask for a ct uh, because you think that you have some cancer don't do that okay and yes so there are several infectious diseases that can also significantly improve your in increase uh, your chance of getting cancer for example helicobacter pylori which is linked with several uh, you know diarrhea right so that can increase your risk of getting gastric carcinoma you know so the, basically the colon cancer and also there are several oncoviruses like papilloma virus can increase the risk of cervical cancer epstein barr virus a kissing disease you know kissing disease ebv is the epstein barr virus can increase the blood cancer risk a kind of a leukemia beta you uh, know b cell uh, leukemia hiv can also increase the risk of cancer though it is not an oncovirus in strict sense hiv is an immunosuppressant right it suppresses the immune system activity so immune system cannot detect the cancer cell so our risk of developing cancer is high if you are having an active hiv aids disease which is not under treatment so if it is under treatment then it's fine okay and also hep hepatitis b virus can significantly increase the chance of the liver cancer so any of these diseases uh, the first step is not to get these diseases uh, the prevention is the best cure right and what if you are getting uh, you you got this disease like for example you know epstein barr virus so get yourself checked and treated for it that can decrease the risk of developing the cancer later in your life so personal hygiene number one and also safe sex you know for stds like hiv safe sex is a best preventive measure to prevent uh, getting these diseases right and also there is another disease of the uh, toxoplasmosis by toxoplasma gondii which is a which is a protozoa protist uh, which has been linked with glioma the brain and spinal cord cancer you know so yeah the toxoplasmosis if you ever been diagnosed with that uh, disease which is quite uncommon uh, get yourself treated for it you know that is uh, that is very very important then we do have partial control of course that one partial control i've already introduced about the the air pollution you know so we don't have full control over the air pollution and also the water pollution like nonylphenol what are the other partial control uh, you know so uh, uh, causative factors for the cancer celiac disease which is an autoimmune disease you know so uh, gluten in the wheat right if you are uh, allergic to the gluten so you need to go for gluten free wheat products right so if you are if you treat the celiac disease then you are no longer at the risk of developing cancer but untreated celiac disease patients have a very high likelihood of developing all kinds of cancer that is what the study says and also hormones several hormones are linked with the cancer like early period that the late the girls having early period lookout 
uh, the, you know, the, the, the risk of breast cancer is very high. So screen yourself, right? And if your daughters have this early period, uh, uh, you know, do the mammogram on yearly basis after puberty, right? So that can also, uh, you know, in, in any kinds of cancer, early diagnosis is important, right? If you diagnose faster, then you can take preventive measure for its spread, right? And uh, yeah, so, you know, uh, many of the cancer which is detected at the early stage can completely be cured by uh, pharmacological intervention these days, right? So early detection is very important. And also testosterone, naturally testosterone high or if you are actually taking testosterone also, the risk of prostate cancer is also pretty high. So beware of it. Prostate cancer screening is recommended. And of course, a several factor which are beyond control of, uh, uh, beyond our conscious control, right? To prevent the cancer. We, uh, what are these? One is that of course, genetic. You know, uh, estimates say 0.3 percentage of all cancers have some genetic link. Look, it is very, very less, you know. So most of this cancer uh, are due to like sedentary lifestyle or we can do something to prevent it. But 0.3 percent are under genetic control. So some, uh, you know, some genes are something called oncogenes like BRCA1, breast cancer 1 and breast cancer 2. So how do you know that? Do you have these genes or not? You can get your genome sequenced, at least genotyped, you know, like 23andMe, uh, the company in the US, but here in India also a few firms can do it. Hopefully in near future, it becomes significantly cheaper, you know. So genetic, of course, if you have these genes, only option is that you can actually do annual screening for, you know, mammogram screening, right? And uh, yeah, so like, uh, you know, some Hollywood actor, actress have completely removed their breast after detecting this BRCA1 positive, you know. So that is called mastectomy. Again, you may consider it if you are BRCA1 or BRCA2 positive. And uh, yes, yeah, so there is a very interesting study recently that says this intergenerational transfer of the cancer risk. Uh, three generations ago, uh, the mother's which were exposed to the DDT in uh, 1950s, risk of breast cancer in their granddaughters is also pretty high. See, epigenetic transmission of the likelihood of developing cancer, you know, so that is, again, <laughs> we can do nothing about it. So many of these things are beyond our control, but we do have conscious control over the things that we eat, for example, uh, you know, or personal hygiene, right and also uh, exposure the occupational exposure and also various habits right like smoking and alcohol these are really obvious so things which are perfectly under our control or partially our control friends beware of it you can prevent cancer to a certain extent so that stoic philosophy do help and science is always informing on our policy decisions so hopefully uh, you get some new information from this video and hopefully you can prevent, we can all prevent cancer by adopting, uh, you know, good uh, health, health and lifestyle practices. Thank you for watching.